Hey guys, how's it going? Joster here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So this time I have the brand new TCL 625 series TV. This is a 4K HDR Dolby Vision quantum dot technology on this 55 inch model. So throughout these videos, I'm going to be testing different uh, features like gaming. We're gonna share some settings for movies, for when you're watching TV. So if you're interested in knowing or learning something new, or maybe you want to know more about this TV, let me know in the comments below what you're interested in. Maybe I can do a video about that. I'll try to do my best. So welcome to the channel guys. I'm Jolster and let's do this. All right guys, so this is what comes inside the box. Very simple, the power cable. This is the AV connection. Pair of batteries, AAA, and the famous controller from TCL. This controller has been the same. It looks very much the same as last year's and even 2017 models. This does feel a little bit like thicker, fatter, <laughs> uh, and it comes with uh, some direct buttons, direct access to Netflix, ESPN, Roku, and Hulu. A lot, you know, I'm going to be using Netflix a lot. So that's the controller right there. And these are the legs for the TV. Gotta say, this feels very premium. These are aluminum legs. Look at this. Well, I don't make that noise, but they are aluminum. And wow. They feel really premium. All right, guys, so the first thing I notice is to in install the legs. We need to remove this little piece of plastic right here. It's like a bracket. So it comes secure with two screws. So once we remove them, pull it out, you notice this has like a shape right here. So we have to match the shape to the leg. And this is the one that goes with here. So this is the, uh, what, the left side? I believe is the left side. Yeah, it says right here, left. So we, put, we install the leg, secure it with the screws, and the same thing goes on the right hand side. Couple of screws, and that's it, we are done. All right guys, so this is the back of the TV, and one thing I noticed from TCO is that every year they just keep on improving their TVs. I remember I re reviewed the P-Series and then the R617 series last year, and now this is the 625 series, and oh my God, they, look beautiful they use premium materials brush aluminum on top piano black in the back and then right here in the back is where it has housing all the electronics everything just looks premium guys all right so let's jump into the ports right here on the side if you're looking at the tv from the front the ports are going to be located on the right hand side so right here on top we have the ethernet Ethernet port just in case if you want to connect the internet but it also comes with Wi-Fi and then right here underneath that there's one two three four HDMI ports number four is the one that has ARC for audio return channel then there's a cable and antenna port right here there's a USB audio and video headphone jack and optical cable for audio right so let's jump right here to the other side on the bottom there's a power button this probably also serves to switch uh, ports or maybe switch channel i don't know we'll find out just a little bit let's go to the other side so right here on this other side there's only the port for power and that's it all right guys so let's flip the tv and let's turn it on let's see how it works all right guys so as soon as i plug in the tv to the power they turn off by itself then it asks me to pair the remote so as soon as you put the batteries on the remote everything is paired right away and another thing i wanted to mention is like look how tcl is now including these little pads right here i noticed samsung does this all the time so i'm happy that tcl is including this as well because it protects the fingerprints when you are installing this TV for the very first time. So it is time now to remove them. And wow, there is also another like protective plastic right here. You guys notice, maybe we can remove it from the top. There's a lot of plastics here. I'm gonna do that right now, but another thing I wanted to show you guys is how much it measures from leg to leg. And it's actually, 48 inches or four feet 
all together it's exactly four feet so if you're thinking of uh, how big of a TV stand you need you need something bigger than four feet or 48 inches on the length is about one foot or around 12 a little bit less than 12 and a half inches so those are the measurements that you're going to be working if you're planning to buy on buying this TV all right guys so I set up the TV I connected to my Netflix account to my uh, Amazon Prime account and right now I'm watching a video which uh, is actually a, an app that streams live TV shows and programs they're pretty cool but it's with based with commercials so man guys I am very very happy to tell you that this TV looks amazing looks very very good I've been already uh, playing around with the settings some of the Roku TV I think like honestly the Roku TV has some really good free features free programs right here you can go into here right now you can download house hunter so every time you go into one of these uh, TV shows that you want to see you might going to have to download the app and then the app goes into your your home for example right here this is your home right and then you can choose which HDMI port you want to use or the antenna or then you can go to your apps right here you can also customize your apps by pressing the little uh, star and then you can move remove the channel or move channel once you press move you can move it around here when you want it in one place just press enter and that's it so obviously they have some of the top ones I have it right here on top these are the ones that I have access to and then over here I also have the voodoo movies so everything is very well organized with this um, Roku TV and then also there are some of the free features which of course are free but you have to watch some commercials so let's go to Netflix real quick and I'm going to show you some of the settings that I'm using for uh, Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision. Yeah, because this TV does support Dolby Atmos as well. So let me find something that has Dolby Atmos. I think this one, uh, Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos, yes. So as soon as we go into one of these TV shows or Netflix shows, it'll automatically show you that you're using Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision as well. So let's go into the settings right here. And then I have a TV brighter picture mode. I have Dolby Vision in bright. You can always choose dark, normal, bright. Right now I'm choosing bright. I feel like uh, this looks you know, the best right now. And then right here in sound mode, you can choose theater. Where, where, where do you go? So you can choose theater, big bass, and high treble, music, normal, speech, once you select speech man you can hear the voice is enhanced so if you're having problems listening to the uh, speech or voice this is a really good option so let's go to speech and theater and every time i you notice every time i select theater then the dolby atmos shows up right here on the right that's because automatically the text dolby atmos if you go to advanced sound settings right here virtual surround on for Dolby Atmos or you can uh, select all but or you can turn this off but if you select Dolby Atmos it'll detect that feature and it automatically turns it on over here I have dialogue enhancer I have it on you can turn it off if you want to but I have it on in my case so let's go back a little bit and so I have the theater settings and then let's go to advanced picture settings so local contrast this is the local dimming I have this one oh my god I keep pressing the wrong button I'm sorry guys so local contrast I have this one on high you can turn it off if you want to but I always recommend to have it at least on high medium or high so oh you guys notice how it gets darker when it goes high so I'm gonna leave it at medium all right dynamic contrast this one usually works when you have the uh, local contrast off so i'm not going to play with it. i prefer to have local dimming you guys notice how it is now i have access to dynamic contrast so i'm just going to use this local contrast on medium these are the settings that i'm using right now these are 
you know, I'm just playing around with the TV for the first time and I'm just finding what is is looking great at the moment. These are some settings that TCL is already suggesting to you. This depends on how you are using the picture mode. So I'm using it on bright. And as you switch to dark, the settings also change. So I'm using the bright. And then over here, all the, these are the values, tint, color temperature. I have it in warm. For some reason, I find that warm is the best in my opinion. You know, I like that tone, but you can choose cool, normal, or warm. Um, that is just my opinion, guys. Action smoothing. This is the soap opera effect. So this is, you can have the option to have it in medium, high, or turn it off. Or you can also have natural cinema, turn on or off. Honestly, I do like the action smoothing in medium. It feels natural, it feels good but you have those options. LED, motion, clarity. I usually don't like this. Is This is good for sports is what it says right here. And I usually don't like this because I I've, sometimes I feel flickering, you know, and it's just in my opinion, I don't use this motion clarity. Some people don't notice that flickering. I do, and actually, you know what? On this TV, it's not as, it's not as pronounced or it's not as, uh, you cannot see it as much as I've seen in some other TVs, but I just like to turn it off. I don't like using that. So that's it for these settings right now. And like I said, this, my God, guys, the audio on this TV is one of the best I've heard compared to other TVs that I have used before. It's loud. It's very clear. The image, the picture on Dolby Vision also looks beautiful on this TV. I don't want to show too much, so I'm just going to go back. But uh, I am surprised how beautiful this looks. This also supports Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos, our planet. So this is another beautiful presentation from Netflix. So uh, yeah, guys. Like I said, this is my first look on this TV. You can also just go back home to the settings on the Roku TV. You press, let me see, okay. Let's go to, what's that? Let's go to Prime Video. Also, Video Prime has some uh, programs that uses Dolby Vision. So just in case if you are looking for more Dolby Vision 4K access, uh, Amazon Prime has some good Jack Ryan I don't know if you guys have seen this show, but this show is amazing and the new season is coming up pretty soon. And this show also supports Dolby Atmos. Let me just show you a little bit. Hopefully I don't get any copyrights. Dolby Vision, and I know it supports Dolby Atmos. I'm almost 100% positive. There it is, Dolby Atmos on this show as well. So there you have it, guys. Uh, I mean, this TV looks beautiful the picture so far looks amazing so in my next video i'm going to show you guys how this works with gaming i'm going to connect my xbox one x on this tv i'm going to show you how gaming works it looks fantastic all right guys so that's it for this video let me know in the comments if you have any questions i'll try to answer everything if you have any suggestions or what you want to see also let me know in the comment section Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out.